Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning for me here in Hawaii. I've got a wedding to shoot later on today, so I'm in my casual clothing today. But I did want to record this little video before I send out two cameras that need repair, and it is the Polaroid SX70. I got this first Polaroid from winning a giveaway from one of my good friends, Alex Hedgephoto, on his Twitch stream last Christmas. And so I was beyond stoked to get this camera. I never used an instant Polaroid camera like this before, like a, a vintage actual cool camera. I've never seen this before. And so when I received it, I was just blown away. Obviously it's got a lot of, you know, wear and tear on the, the leather here, but that was no problem, right? I, I didn't mind using it. Um, my original plan was that I would use these for weddings you know they're small and compact enough that i can just pack this in my bag and i could have this on me when i started shooting these images at the wedding i noticed that the film would be like overexposed like half of it would be exposed properly but the other half it's like the shutter stayed open too long upon many testings that i did and unfortunately I wasted a lot of film and a lot of money, but I figured out that there's definitely something wrong with this camera. Not only that, but I also have a second camera that my mom found for me. She was road tripping through New Mexico or something like that and found this Polaroid SX70 in an antique shop for five bucks. And this, this one's a much cleaner. Uh, the leather still has that deteriorating type of feel um, not as not as bad as this one, but I was like, hmm, maybe this one's working, right? But it couldn't, right? It's five. It was five bucks. The billows look all good and everything like that. Um, the 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 little menu back here looks 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 all good. But again, I put the I put film in here and I tried shooting with it and I got the same problem. All right, check this out. I have a empty uh, film cartridge. You guys know that the batteries are in the cartridges. So I'm going to put this in my camera and then we're going to test it out. And I'm going to show you guys what's wrong with it. All right, the film cartridge is loaded. It's completely empty. And uh, let me go ahead and press the shutter for you guys so you can hear and see what's going wrong. Did you hear that? Did you see how long it took for the shutter to close down and for the film to spit out? Let's do it again. That one was much quicker. Let's do another one. That one was longer. Let's go one more time. That was really long and I get what it looks like. It looks like I'm holding the shutter down. Let me just press it and then move my finger away. You see that? You see how much lag there is with that? Okay, let me pop this cartridge into the other camera and then I will show you what's wrong with that. Hold on, let me let me shoot off every every uh every roll. All right, so that's this is the camera that I won on the giveaway. Now let's test the one that I got from my mom when she was on a road trip. And she found this one in an antique store. Five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> Did you hear how slow that was to wind up the film here? There you go. Let's, let's, uh, I know there's no film, but you know how long it took to load that cartridge. All right, here we go. I think it's completely stopped. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I had to I had to press the shutter button again for it to complete. Let's do it one more time. Now it's it's not even it's not even going. Let me uh, close it down and just open it back up. Let's try it again. You hear that clicking? Yeah, I don't I don't know what's wrong. All right, so. What I've done is I went to my friend Alex and I said, hey, do you know any repair shops that can repair these Polaroid SX-70s? I don't even know where to begin. So he pointed me in the direction of Brooklyn Film Camera. So let's go check it out. Just so that you guys can see the film that came out of this camera, the one that I received from my friend, because we already sh I already showed you guys that the, the antique camera was just not working out, out of the gate. But... The one that I received from my friend, um, that one was working in like the very beginning. But let me show you some of the film that I shot at a wedding. And then I saw that it was just not working right. So I, I stopped using it and then I went home and then I tested it on a couple of packs of film. And uh, here, yeah, check this out. So so here's um, here's a photo. This is, this is uh, in my house. It's not completely dark or anything like that, but you can see it starts to get exposed and then it just, boom, overexposed, blown out whites and everything like that. This one was shot uh, at a wedding. This is like a, this is like a table with like a big uh, fountain of like chocolate and stuff with some like tropical plants. And you can see, man, it's like, it's exposed and then it's just boom, just like the shutter like stays open and it gets overexposed or whatnot. And then, this one same thing this is at the altar this was i believe i was shooting oh during the ceremony and we've got the bride and groom right there and it's like getting exposed properly and then bam gets overexposed you got the you got the bridal part on each side right there there you go um it's my daughter playing at home again you can see it's, it's sort of exposed and then sort of and then it gets it just gets overblown this was shot right after this one was shot. So I think I, I tried to make it darker and then this is what happened. That's the that's the kind of results I was getting from from the camera and the reason why I'm going to send them in for repair. So let's look at Brooklyn Film Camera real quick. Here is Brooklyn Film Camera. All right, you can find them on Google. Just type in Brooklyn Film Camera and you'll pull up their website. If you need uh, to see if they are legit, you can also go to Google Maps and look them up. You can see the storefront. You can see uh, what's inside, what the what the uh, shop looks like, what the repair center looks like, all that good stuff. So we're gonna go menu and Polaroid repair. All right, Polaroid repair expert restoration services for the sx70 original sx70 sonar and the slr 680 cameras all right so let's get started with the repair or restoration so we've got repair restoration they also do the skinning surface which i would need for my cameras right they're both they both need to be reskinned let's see what the repair is so the repair Basic repair is $145, includes any repair for the for the Polaroid SX-70, Sonar, or the SLR-680. So you get full repair and a one-year mechanical warranty. So uh, it goes on to explain that they are trained by original Polaroid staff um, technicians. They also have the capability of modding these SX-70 cameras. And instead of using the SX-70 film, you're able to use the Polaroid 600 film, which is more common if you go to target you'll find the 600 film a lot easier than the than in the sx70 film which i've had to order uh, multiple times online that's the only way i can get them out here in hawaii since i have two cameras right i might as well do that one i'll get repaired original restored so it can use the sx70 film and then the other sx70 i have i'll get modded so that it can use the 600 film all right so after you replace and or after you place a, a repair order, um, after you place after you place a repair order, you send it out to them, and then the work will start once they, re they receive the camera. You got to put the order number in the package, and uh, yeah, they say sometimes um, the cameras too bust up, they cannot fix it. Um, yada yada and then right here it says do you already know that you want your camera's leather replaced and in my case yes i would like my camera replaced so go ahead and purchase the restoration 
Okay, so I need to make the jump to restoration for both of these cameras because both of them, the leather is deteriorating on them. So the restoration starts at 200. So the repair is 145. The full restoration, which is full leather rest restoration, everything, $200 with that same one year mechanical warranty, which is pretty nice. Okay, so we'll scroll all the way down. So we'll select camera type and we'll just do this one, the original, or of course, that's the original, but we'll do this one as no mod. So no mod. All right, classic tan. And then uh, anything our technicians should know about, we'll say on the, the original, the, the camera that my friend sent me, I will say um, the camera shutter stays open for various time lengths, lengths and causes light streaking across across the photo i would also like the entire leather to be entire leather to be restored awesome let's uh fix these thanks group thanks gramley all right add to cart all right then we go up here click that and um, get ready for a checkout, all right? Let's get the repair started for the one that my mom sent me from her road trip, the one that was five bucks. I'm gonna get that thing modded, fully restored and modded. So we're gonna click restoration, go all the way down. This is the original and then mod, which is an extra $60 on top. So we're gonna add that to the cart. All right, this one, we're going to choose classic black so I can tell the cameras apart. Let's see, anything you should know about your camera? All right, let's add this to the cart. All right, and then you go to your cart and check out, okay? Once I placed the orders, I immediately got a confirmation email from Brooklyn Film Camera. They're gonna send you your confirmation email, um, the price that you paid for it. So it was 200 for the restoration plus $15 for shipping for me. It's also gonna include the notes that you typed in for the technician, the choice of leather that you chose just to make sure everything is correct. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna print this email out and I'm gonna stuff it with the camera inside the package so that they know exactly what's for what. All right, let's get these cameras packaged. They recommended that you package your cameras with one inch plus of bubble wrap and I will recommend the same to you. But right now I'm kind of on a time crunch. I would like to get these out and um, I've got tons of brown paper bags from Safeway and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stuff my priority mailbox with the USPS um, shipping and I'm just gonna put them all in there. I've got my cameras right here packed up like a sack lunch from elementary school. So let's get these put in the box and sent out to the post office. What's up everyone? Long time no see. Uh, good to see you all. The last time you saw me, it was November 6th and I did a little recording showing you guys my two Polaroid cameras that needed repair. And both of the cameras had two, right? And uh, both of them had issues with the shutter, not closing fast, being very slow and sluggish. And I chose Brooklyn Film Camera in New York to be the place to send my cameras out to be repaired. So I sent them out. Uh, one of the cameras I paid for to be completely restored original with the original brown leather. The second one, I added the $60 mod on it, which allows it to use permanently the, the 600 film uh, Polaroid film. So I got two of them and uh, that second one is gonna have the black leather on it. So it was November 6th, 
when I recorded those videos, I sent them out, I believe that day, and then I got them back. And today is what, the 15th? Today is the 15th of December, so a month in some change, right? It's a month in, I can't do math right now, big math. Anyways, I'm just excited because I have it right now. I'm ready to open it, all right? And I've got my little top-down cam so you guys can see me as I open it, all right? Just let me cut this open and then make sure my address is out of the way, all right? So excited. All right, um, one little detail I will note is that when I sent the cameras out, I did not receive any type of confirmation from Brooklyn Camera that they received my package. Unless I missed it, but I'm pretty sure I did not receive any type of confirmation. After I'm done filming this, I will definitely confirm with you. I'll look through my emails and make sure. Um, not necessarily a deal breaker, but it would have been nice if they're like, hey, we got your cameras, we're getting started on it. Here's an ETA. I understand it's the holidays, so they're probably busy and they probably just want to crank it out. So that's why I didn't email them. I just want to, <laughs> whatever happened, happened. All right, so here we go. Let me, um, let me just open it up a little and I'll give you guys the top down view of what the box has inside, okay? Let's open up the box. We got all these little packaged peanuts. Ooh, we got a cool little Polaroid sticker. I like that. Uh, Brooklyn film camera sticker. That's pretty sick. Oh, let me show you the uh, this one right here. Polaroid. Sick. And this is cool. I believe this is for something. I don't know. There's no sticky stuff on there. Uh, business card. Brooklyn film camera business card. Here is my order slip. Here we go. So let's go ahead and dig into the peanuts. Let's find our cameras, shall we? All right, we've got camera number one. I can see the brown. Open this bad boy up. It's got a nice bubble wrap on it. Nice and secure. No worries about this camera whatsoever. right out the gate i am impressed this looks fantastic this looks brand new i'm so excited about this wow look at this look at this that looks brand new they did a really fantastic job okay let's open this up hold on i gotta smell it i got a weird thing about smelling new tech and new products and things it smells like it smells like brand new leather it smells like smells like new leather i love it all right, let's open up the card first. Uh, we got, we got, uh, we got to, you know, practice good manners, right? All right, the camera guarantee. All of our Polaroid cameras are fully restored in house. Come with a comprehensive one year warranty. All other camera models have been tested, measured for accuracy, and are restored by commissioned technicians. And come with a comprehensive three month warranty. All right, so it's got the make, the model, serial number, uh, serial number, date of purchase, order number, and my name so and they wrote it out on the card so there's my warranty gonna hold on to that all right here we go now this is the checklist all right so service ticket with the order number the model again serial number and name date received it was online so here's what they did with the with uh their checklist so we got mechanics lens clean light meter clean adjusted shutter blades uh and solenoid tested, motor cleaned, circuit board inspected, all switches, electrical contacts cleaned, motor couplers removed to avoid gear train failure, gear train checked for broken cogs, proper timing, viewing mirrors checked for proper um, adhesion, uh, flash fire assembly tested, flash intercept checked for accuracy at all focal distances, camera realigned to correct viewfinder shadows, Camera checked for major cracks for broken components. Fresnel carriers inspected. Rollers aligned. Camera opening and closing movements adjusted. Common replacements. Um, nothing marked here for sonar, all that. Large uncommon replacements. The 600 modification, nothing. Second technician testing. Light meter accuracy confirmed. Exposure reel tested. Focus wheel tested. Viewfinder accuracy tested. Roller movements smooth. Rollers cleaned, flashboard tested, opening, closing film tested, aesthetics, bellows cleaned, lens cleaned, electric eye cleaned, rollers cleaned, viewfinder cleaned, lens, uh, camera body cleaned, position polished, leather replaced, tan. 
Perfect. All right. Let's get this open. I'm so excited. All right. Pulling it out. And right away, the leather feels great. All right. This feels like a brand new camera. All right. You can see the body. It does have, you know, the normal wear and tear. Of course, it's used. But uh, this leather, it's good. Feels good. You want to take a closer look there? Looks great. All right, let's open it up. Perfect. All right, the bellows. First off, look at that. Looks all nice and clean. Nice and polished. Other side looking good. Man, this is looking so good. The mirror. So when I shipped this out, guys, I didn't give you the view inside, but the mirror was dusty and everything like that. I haven't even looked inside, but I can I can kind of see it. You guys can see it right there. The ring light. Um, it looks so clean. This top piece, so clean. The shutter button, everything looks great. Awesome. All right. Let me um this looks so good. Shall we test it? Shall we test this thing? Man, this leather smells good. I'm excited, man. Let me just focus on the count of three. One, two, and... Wait, 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 let me put the microphone. One, two, and... False alarm? Is there no film in here? Let me double check. <gasps> okay, it didn't come with film. Okay, so hold on. Hold on, everyone. Let me let me go grab some film. I am definitely not putting that in the video. <laughs> All right, got some SX70 color film right here. If there's no film in the other one, then it looks like we're going to just have to test this one. And then maybe in the future, I'll do an update and show you guys what I've been doing with the, with the 600. All right, here we go, loading up the film. Sounds good. Here we go, all right. One more time. Three, two, one. All right, that sounded good. Now let's just wait on the exposure. Yeah, I, I hope it's gonna come out good. I'm not, a, I'm not a pro taking these Polaroid photos yet. As this film is starting to develop, let's go ahead and take a look at the other camera. All right, let's go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and close her up. Easy, done, perfect. I'm gonna set you aside gently. All right, back into the peanuts we go. All right, the picture is coming out as expected probably could have adjusted the exposure a bit with the um the brightness and everything like that all right let's open up this one now this one is the modded sx70 this one will be taking the 600 speed film and it's got the black leather on top just so i can tell the difference between the two they're both got that um ivory classic um color on them so I needed, I needed a way to differentiate them. Woo! Man, this is sick. I love it. Let's go ahead and put this down here. Put these down. All right. Should we zoom in? Oh, that looks bad now. All right, that's better. Okay. All right, again, we've got the warranty card and the service checklist. Here we go. Here it is. Fully restored with the black leather, smelling good. Oh, don't know what that is. All right, that's okay. I mean, I'm not. I'm honestly not that kind of customer who's gonna be like, I'm gonna return this, blah blah blah. I will make note of it, but you know, this honestly, this is already a used SX70. I'm not. I'm not super bummed. Okay, I'm just glad that this is restored, and we got it working. All right, so. No, no biggie. All right. I'll just be careful of that in the future. Go ahead and open them up. 
All right, that is looking so good. That looks, you know, the 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 black on this looks great because it matches with the bellows so well. Look at that. Look at that, man. The black leather is clean. Tell me not. Look at that. That looks clean. All right, pop it open. No 600 speed film, but it looks so clean in there. Man, this camera looks awesome. Well, I can't wait to use this. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Target today. I'm gonna go buy some some film, some 600 speed film. That's exactly why I wanted to do the mod, the 600 speed uh, film mod on this because um, that film is available here at Target, especially in Hawaii. You know, when I order the film, it takes it takes a week, you know, to get here. So to be able to go out to the store to buy some 600 uh, speed film is gonna be great. Let's look inside, and the mirror looks awesome. Everything focuses good. Man, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, okay? Maybe maybe some of you guys are like me. You guys were able to get your hands on a free SX-70. You're able to find an SX-70 for cheap um, at the pawn shop or like at an antique store, something like that. And you know, maybe maybe your camera's not working like how mine wasn't working. It was it was a little bit sluggish. Um, exposures coming out all wonky. Let me just tell you guys, um, two hundred for the full restoration. All right, making making the camera work again, like like good as new, and then replacing the leather. That's a full two hundred. And then to get the camera fully replaced or fully repaired and leather restored with the six hundred modification. That came out to about 260. Well done, Brooklyn Film Camera. I love how these came out. These came out looking so good. I can't wait to get started using them. They're gonna be very valuable to what I do in wedding photography. Overall, I'm pleased, all right? Like I said earlier, you know, I, I got these cameras from friends. I won this on a giveaway on Twitch. Shout out to Alex Hetch Photo. Um, if you guys follow his Twitch channel on on Instagram, wherever, um, he was he's a he's a prolific film photographer, and he's giving these out, and I and I won the giveaway, so I got this from him for free, and then I got this one also for free from my mom. She found this in Arizona at a thrift store for five dollars for five dollars chat. So um, she sent this over to me. Got them both fixed for sixty to to have these cameras. Honestly, completely restored, leather completely restored, working in perfect order. I think it was a good investment considering that these Fujifilm, you know, these these Fujifilm Instax cameras, um, you know, same price, around 200 bucks, 150, 200, depending on the type of model that you're gonna get, but they are, they're updated, they're new, they're smaller. Um, you know, and these ones, you know, my girls can play with this or my wife can use it, things like that. This one, definitely holding closer to my heart being that they're vintage and historical and um i love the quality the bigger polaroids and they're gonna be a premium service especially with my wedding photography and how i'm gonna work it into that so anyways that is it ladies and gentlemen brooklyn film camera look them up on google they're very easy to find they are legit they do great work and I definitely, definitely recommend them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was very helpful, especially for those of you guys who are wondering about where to get your SX-70 Polaroid cameras repaired. Check them out. Um, he, again, huge shout out to Alex Hatch Photo, again, for the recommendation on Brooklyn Film Camera, as well as sending out this camera from the giveaway. And uh, guys, if you like this video, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe button. I'm live on Twitch every Monday through Friday, every morning. Um, sometimes the time changes. So I went from like every morning at 8 a.m. Pacific to just every morning. All right, you'll find me, TLD Academy. You'll find me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, TLD Academy, Light Den Academy. We're all about photography. We're all about editing photos live, critiques, reviews. Uh, we also like to play games. We've got uh, uh, Nikon Ambassadors coming on stream for interviews. We do all sorts of stuff, giveaways. Guys, we'd love to have you part of this live stream photography community. My name is Aaron O'Hara. Thank you for watching. Aloha.